Hey there student, I'm Dr. K, and today I'm going to help you solve how to simplify a radical with a variable in it. Now let's remember, a variable is anything like x, y, a, b, or even c. Pretty much a number that you don't know the value of and you have to figure out. So a radical with a variable in it would look like square root of x or square root of a. So let's make an, an expression that we would want to simplify. For example, let's do square root of x squared. Now we know that that's a very simple expression and the square root of a squared number is just the number itself. So this is equal to x. Okay, so let's do a slightly harder expression. Let's do square root of x cubed times y. So in order to solve this, we have to realize that x cubed times y is a multiplication, so it's the same as saying square root of x cubed times the square root of y. That makes it a little bit more simple and easy to break down. Now, the square root of a cubed number is that number, x, times the square root of x times square root of y. Even more simple, this is x times the square root of x times y. There you have it, it's simplified. Do you wanna try one more? Okay, let's do a really hard one. We'll do b times the square root of a cubed times b to the fourth power. So how would you simplify this? This expression is the same as saying b times a square root of a times b squared. Or even simpler, the final answer is b cubed, because we're going to add the 1 power and the 2 power of b to make b cubed times a times the square root of a. There you have it. So the main things to remember is that a radical with an exponent can be simplified and taking the square root of a 2 power gives you the radical by itself. It's left as x to the 1 power. Next, if there are two radicals under the same radical sign, it's the same as saying that those two exponents are being multiplied they each have their own radical sign. And lastly, when you're simplifying really big expressions and you have b that's repeated several times, this is b to the 1 power times an exponent of a times b again. You're going to take these powers of b and add them together. So b to the 1 power times b to the 2 power is the same as is the same as b to the 1 plus 2 power, or b cubed. So there you have it, a little refresher course on how to simplify radicals with variables in them. Thanks for watching, I'm Dr. K.